This is what we call the habit loop. An example is you see a piece of cake, you eat the cake, it tastes good, and you feel good. Because it feels good, the brain quickly turns whatever you did into a habit, the habit loop, trigger, behavior, reward. It turns out that things that make you feel good all have pretty much the same result. When something unpleasant is happening, you of course want to make it stop. What does your brain do? It looks for something that it knows so you feel good. So let's say you're stressed at work. Rather than deal with whatever's making you stressed, your brain looks for a feel-good habit to cover up the stress, like eating some cake. This is called a distraction habit loop. Feel bad, eat cake, get distracted, feel a little better for a moment. Sometimes stresses can be so intense, instead of going to a feel-good habit loop, thinking about the stress causes more stress, and this just goes in a circle. Getting so bad a distraction habit loop is not enough. Then you start a habit loop called the worry or the anxiety habit loop. This happens to a lot of us. Can you relate? What these habit loops have in common is that they happen without you even knowing it. It's like you're a passenger in a car being driven by your brain's habit loops. What this program can teach you is to recognize when you're in one of those loops, how you're feeding it, and how you can step out of it to break the cycle. You can teach yourself how to always be in the driver's seat. Learn more by checking out our website today.